Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Virgin Voyages experts, and today I have the great pleasure of being on board the beautiful, brand new Valiant Lady. This incredible vessel has something for everyone, unless of course your kids, because it's an adults only concept with incredible food, amazing entertainment, especially the music as you would expect from Virgin, but it's really the service and inclusions that set it over the top. Now today I'm gonna to go through every single public space here on board. We also have the suites and rooms on our channel as well for you to check out. But before we tour, keep in mind when you're ready to book your time on board, the beautiful Valiant Lady, the Scarlet Lady, the Resilient Lady, or the Brilliant Lady, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel. We have an amazing relationship with Virgin Voyages. We know the spaces inside and out, and we know we can help craft the perfect cruise vacation of a lifetime for you your friends, family, as long as they're over 18, and an incredible value, and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now we've started up here on deck 16, overlooking the pool area. One of the things that you're gonna find throughout this tour is there's lots of spots that are used for different things during the day and at night. So you've got a classic cruise ship pool down there. There's actually quite a bit of shallow space. So you can sit around the sides, put your feet in the water, cool off. Now this ship sails to the Med, sails to the Caribbean and everywhere in between. And this pool deck is perfect for a lot of those options. Now later in the evening, especially on Scarlet Night, which we'll talk more about later, this transforms into an entertainment venue and a big party as well. Now also down there on the pool deck, you're gonna have the showers. You have quite a few different diverse seating options. You're gonna see the loungers on the far side. You've got the sun loungers here too. And I love the little touches of having the cocktail tables down there in addition to that. Now up here on 16, you're gonna find that you have more sun loungers wrapped all the way around. You also have these really unique red chairs. They're kind of like a mix of a love seat, maybe a cabana put together, but you'll find that they're complimentary at no additional cost. And it's a great place where you can sit, hang out, and they will provide bar service throughout. Now drinks are one of those things that for the most part are not included here with Virgin, but they do a phenomenal job. I feel that they keep the prices fair as well, but keep in mind there's quite a few promos. Sometimes you can add to that bar tab and you can get more value for your money by pre-booking it as well. Now there's several sculptures up here, some really silly ice creams. There's a bar up here, as well as a pool bar down below. If you're gonna have a great pool, you gotta have an awesome pool bar. And of course, what you're gonna hear the theme throughout this entire presentation is it's the crew that really set this apart. They're dedicated to what they do. They're allowed to be more themselves than just about any other cruise ship in the world. And you're gonna find you'll make connections with them as we have and our guests have time and time again. Now I'll talk a lot about food throughout this entire tour. And the first one I wanted to lead off is the Sun Club Cafe. It's where you can get some light bites. They have poke bowls. They've got different styles of bao buns. They also have some absolutely delicious dips as well. But you're gonna find that they have high quality food and virtually all of it is included here on board the Valiant Lady as you'll find throughout the entire Virgin fleet. Now Virgin knew I was coming, that's why they made an incredible sculpture of ice cream, that is always my happy place. But they also have the gym and tonic bar down below. Now this is the well-being pool, it complements the main pool. You see you have a couple hot tubs here. You also have a hydrotherapy style pool in the middle, and then you're gonna find some exercise equipment as well. Now for me personally, I'm gonna be at the bar doing 12 ounce curls, but those who wanna exercise, they have this an incredible amount here on board. Now we're getting close to the athletic club where you're gonna find quite a bit of the different health and well-being aspects. Of course, there's a bar back there as well. And that's something that I love what they've done with the Valiant Lady and all of the Virgin ships. They've managed to be able to take that concept of health and wellness for those who are interested. Of course, great food, phenomenal service, but you also have exactly what you want, whether it's a little bit of indulgence, it's a little bit of a spa day, maybe a fitness regime that's pretty serious. They have a boxing ring, they have all of that together, and it's all part of the Virgin Way, letting you be you whenever you wanna be. Now on the starboard side of the ship, as you head aft, they are gonna have cabanas. Now these come at an additional cost, but the idea behind it is that you get that Vegas day club style experience, where you can have essentially a butler, food, drinks, things like that, and have your own private space, checking out the incredible ocean views. Now, if you love fitness, you are sure to love this ship. They've got an outdoor boxing ring right here, inside training camp, they've got a setup for TRX, several different styles of exercise, whether you're doing some boxing, some kickboxing, maybe you wanna do more of that athletic aerobic style exercise, or just the whole boot camp CrossFit style, they've got a perfect option for you here on board. 
Now, as we continue to walk aft, you're seeing kind of like a, a park style atmosphere with a ton of different exercise equipment. You can actually work all the way up and down here, do all of your exercises outside. Now, what I love about the diversity of Virgin is that, of course, you have all of this incredible exercise equipment. Of course, when you're sailing, it's absolutely stunning. But then right next to it, they've got some day beds, which is probably where you're gonna find me. Though I think I'm gonna head a little bit further aft because there's a bar back there. So you'll see that they have day beds here. These are all complimentary to utilize. They're gonna have umbrellas up above. And another great premium signature is having the towels out. You'll find that with a lot of cruise lines. You have to check them out, check them back in. You'll find a lot of premium touches included with Virgin. Whether it's a soda or that top-notch dining, you're gonna find the little touches that really add up for an incredible experience. Now, as we continue to head aft, you're gonna find more diverse seating areas. So you've got these uh, kind of catamaran style nets where you can sit, relax, and chill. You've got them on both sides. A couple different teeter-totters. In fact, here's one right here as well, though uh, I gotta say, I think I win the weight game here. But it's just a way to have fun, right? Be a little kid while you're an adult in an adults only area. You'll find that in, well, lots of places around the ship, including the arcade. You wouldn't think there'd be an arcade, but it's one of the most fun places here. So in addition to the teeter-totter, you've got different styles of swings and they even have a basketball court. So another fun thing that you can do here on board is play a little pickup basketball, two on two, three on three. It's a little bit of a narrow court, but it does do exactly what you want it to. Let's see if I still got anything left in the tank. Yep, exactly what I thought, nothing at all. Well, I think we stepped back. I think I was just too close. That's, that's gotta be what it is. Yep, that was definitely what it was. You know, I gotta see if I can channel my inner Steph Curry just a little bit. Eh, close. Now, Virgin does an awesome job with solo travelers. They'll have meetups, lots of different activities, but also the entire situation sets you up for a great social experience if that's what you're looking for. I mean, look at this. You can get eight of your favorite friends, play a little bit of foosball. Of course, you know I'm gonna win, but that just happens anyways. But you've got some great games up here. You've got chess as well. Lots of great places to engage with your fellow cruisers. Now at the very aft of the ship, you're gonna find the athletic club and nothing says athletics to me like a giant bar serving delicious gin and tonics, which I may have had a few already. Now there's a ton of seating back here. You've got the incredible hot tubs, but of course, they're known for this incredible catamaran style net that's all the way up here, 16 stories above the ocean. In fact, yeah, the ocean's still down there and uh, I'm still here. See you later. Now the runway is up here on deck 17 and it's dedicated to running or walking. I love that they have a separate dedicated track on so many cruise ships, you're gonna find that it weaves its way through different deck chairs, different decks, things like that. So you, what you have is a great surface if you're looking to go for a jog. Once again, this is all part of that health, wellness, fitness concept that they have here on board. And the perch right above also supplements that. Now the perch is gonna be a sun deck at some times. In the morning, you might find sunrise yoga, you might have different styles of exercise, Zumba, different things like that. They'll use it for all kinds of things. You can even get married there, believe it or not. So there's lots of spaces on this ship that you can utilize for private parties. Now we do a lot of big groups with Virgin, with other cruise lines. So make sure you reach out early for things like that. Whether you're looking for a great corporate or incentive group, maybe you wanna get friends and family together for a reunion, awesome for alumni trips and things along those lines as well. But there's a perfect space for every adult here on board. Now, one other thing that I love about this is you get great aft views. So from the entire runway, you get incredible views. You can imagine jogging as you're at sea, maybe early in the morning as you're pulling into a port, you can use it for that. But also you can get a great view looking down at the athletic club. Of course, that incredible catamaran style net and the ocean beyond. Set at the very top, all the way forward on the ship, you're gonna find Richard's rooftop. Now this is a suite only area that's controlled with key card access. If you're in one of the Rockstar or Mega Rockstar suites, you'll be able to access this throughout the day and into the evening each and every single day. Now during the day, it's sort of like a beach club. So you've got a great bar. You also get food delivered from the restaurant right next door. You have lots of different day bed areas. You've got some cabanas with catamaran style nets, a couple hot tubs, and you even have some great booth style seating at the very front of the ship. You get some incredible views from up here, especially when you're going through the scenic parts of our world. But this is one of those great reasons to upgrade to a suite. That process will start even before you arrive on board. Of course, your hard travel advisor can guide you through it to make sure that you get most out of your suite experience here on the Valiant Lady. 
So once again, it's a posh area to hang out. If you're in one of the suites, you're gonna get phenomenal service, meet wonderful people, and have a great place to relax. So now we're headed into one of my favorite spots on the ship, and that is the galley. Now to me, this is one of those factors that really sets Virgin Voyages apart from everyone else. What you're gonna find is a phenomenal assortment. It's really a collection of restaurants. It's all included, it's all complimentary, and of course there's even spots in here that are open 24 hours a day. Now we started off right here at the Grounds Club 2. So this is the second of the coffee shops here on board. We'll get to the other one when we get down a little bit lower. Now this does come at an additional cost, but what you're finding is truly premium coffee options offered from Intelligentsia. They also have some great tea options as well. And of course, you can even put some Kahlua or Bailey's in there if you wanna spice it up just a little bit. So this is the coffee shop, and now we're gonna head further into the galley. Now before we do, I just wanted to point out the grab and go quick easy snacks. What you're gonna find is they have wraps, they have salads, they even have little charcuterie boards in there where you can come in, grab some food, and head out and enjoy it either in the galley itself, maybe here in the coffee shop, back in your room, or anywhere on the ship. You're also gonna find those water purifiers so you can fill up anytime that you'd like anywhere on the ship. Now the galley, as I mentioned, really is a game changer. It's one of those things that completely sets Virgin apart from everyone else because everything in here is made to order. Now, I've talked about inclusions, I'll continue to talk throughout. It's one of the most highly inclusive cruise lines in the world, starting at the entry level cabins, going all the way up to the suites. You're gonna find that you have the soda machines. You can customize those. Those are included, generally coming at additional cost with most cruise lines. You also have tea, fruit punch, orange juice. They'll switch that up for breakfast, moving into lunch and dinner. Water and ice there always. And then you're also gonna have a coffee bar on the other side as well, where you can get that complimentary drip coffee. So as I mentioned, the coffee shop does come at a premium, but you also can get that great drip coffee at no additional cost. Now over here is an area that's gonna change. They call it the daily mix. We're at lunchtime now, so they have all kinds of wonderful salad options made to order. Now when you see the food on Virgin, what you realize is it's at a different level. They have higher level ingredients. Once again, everything made to order and customized to your personal preferences. Here they'll do some great breakfast bars, maybe grab a bagel and lox. You also throughout the lunch, you're gonna get salads, and they even have sandwiches a bit later in the day. Now there's a lot of diverse seating options in here. You've got these booths right down the middle. You've got booths on the far side, tables for two, four. You can even pull it up to have larger groups of people. Of course, you're gonna meet some wonderful people here on board. Not just the incredible crew, but the passengers. I know that a lot of our guests have found friends that last a lifetime. Now, as we dig into the food here in the galley, we're gonna talk about the most important part before we head on down, and that, of course, is the sweet side. This is where you're gonna find all the desserts. Once again, they've got some great options here that are ready for you. If you want fruits, they've got that. Of course, if you want all the deliciousness that comes from brownies and looks like some delicious macaroons and all kinds of things, you're gonna find deliciousness here, ready to grab and go. Now you have well bread, which is the freshly baked favorites. So in here right now for lunch, you see that they have some flatbread style pizza options. You've got croissants, you've got, well, that looks absolutely delicious. Who doesn't want, well, Homer Simpson must have been here, right? Who doesn't want a donut with some Fruit Loops on top? Once again, all these are complimentary options. As we continue along, you're gonna find the burger bar. That's exactly what it is. It is a burger bar. They're gonna be grilling them up fresh for you. Now, the other thing that I didn't mention is that you order here and then they'll take it and you'll be able to get it at your table. So heading continuously along, this is to me one of the most important spots on the ship. So many cruise lines don't do a great job with 24 hour dining and they basically have 24 hour things to do here on board. So why not have an incredible dining option that matches that? So the diner and dash is a classic diner experience. You can sit up at the bar here. Of course, for breakfast, you're gonna find different kinds of omelets, eggs made to order. It'll evolve throughout the day and late into the night as well. But this is a 24 hour dining option here on board. Now I wanted to point out, you've got more seating on this side. So it's exactly the same as you'll find. And then I wanted to show you Bento Baby. Now who doesn't love sushi and who doesn't love a bento box experience? If you've ever been to Japan, you'll know that that grab and go is such a wonderful feature. You'll see here that they have quite a few different options that you can choose from. And the other thing that I like is I love the diversity of food options. I like the idea that maybe I want a burger and some sushi in the same day, a little surf and turf action, but I also want some delicious bread. Of course, I might even want some Mexican food as well. So you've got all of those here in the galley. Once again, everything is prepared to order. 
Now right here, you'll find that they have a popsicle bar. So once again, some delicious options. You can mix it up. Maybe you want a little palate cleanser as you move through all the different dining options. Now let's talk about it. No, literally, that's the name of this particular restaurant. It's a taco restaurant. And you all know that the best tacos in the world are tacos al pastor. But of course they have, you know, fish tacos. They have a variety of them and they're gonna mix it up throughout the cruise. Really high quality, delicious Mexican food that's exceptionally fresh. As we're working through here, you can see more and more that the diversity of options really does add to the overall experience, but also the diversity of seating areas. You've got high top tables over here. You've got bar style seating. Of course, they even have plugs, USB and US plugs that you can charge your device. Now, I mentioned the soda machines earlier. There's several of them spread throughout the area. You also have water and ice. And I like the idea that they have those water filters everywhere around. Now, another great option, especially later on, is going to be the noodle bar. So noodle around right here. Looks like today they've got the Takatsu ramen. They've got some miso udon. Ooh, should we stay for a little bit? Even some Thai curry ramen as well. But it's those classic noodle dishes, Asian inspiration, absolutely delicious once again. And you can see the chef is currently preparing and getting that ready for lunchtime. Now, as we head even further back, you've got hot off the press. Now this is a sandwich style bar. So you can see they have all kinds of different paninis. Looks like an incredible Reuben right there. You've got turkey and Swiss, buffalo mozzarella. And then just behind, you'll see that they have all of the ovens. So you can heat that up for you, have some chips. Once again, you're seeing that there's a wide diversity of options here, all absolutely delicious. And you can have as much of it as you want and as many different options as you want throughout the day. Now, as we head further aft on the ship, you've got more seating here. So once again, you've got that creative style seating, really beautiful aesthetics, but lots and lots of different options. So you can find the perfect one for you. In fact, you can even head on outside. Let's check that out as well. So now we're out at the aft of the ship. You've got more dining area out here. So you've got more tables for two, four. You've got booth style seating, larger seats as well. You can even sit in the middle there and check out the incredible aft views. That's one thing that this ship really delivers on is incredible views throughout. We have more aft facing space with dining and leisure included than I think just about any other cruise line in the world. So as you would expect from the cheeky way that they approach cruising in general, you had tap that cold, we already saw, tap that hot, and now you've got tap that hard. Now this is where you can get different styles of wine. Of course, you can get beers as well on the other side. So you'll use your card for this. This is something that does come at an additional cost with all the bar tab promos or depending on the cabin or suite that you're in, you may have some of that included for you. Now, every time you dine on Virgin, it is a true experience. There is no main large dining room. What you're gonna find is an assortment of specialty restaurants that you would pay for on just about any other cruise line. Here, they're included. And Virgin didn't ask if they should put something on board. They decided that they were gonna figure it out no matter what. And the very first, if not the most difficult restaurant for them to put together is Gumbe. Now this is a classic Korean barbecue style restaurant where you're gonna have heat in the middle where you're gonna cook your own food. Now it's absolutely delicious. All the ingredients are elevated. But one thing that's unique about Virgin is the idea that they have a separate galley for every single restaurant. You don't find this on other cruise ships because it's not only expensive, but it's very, very difficult. These were built specifically for Virgin, specifically for these ships, and they're unlike anything else in the industry. What better way to get together with friends than over some fantastic Korean barbecue? And you'll see here that you've got the booth style seating. There's tables that are further up against the window as well, but they all have the hoods. They all have that heat element and the ability to bring all of that up and out of the restaurant. It was very, very difficult, but that's something that you'll find from Virgin in general. They want to be the first. They want to do things that are different than everyone else and they have absolutely hit it out of the park with this restaurant and all of the dining experiences here on board. It's the number one thing that our customers rave out time and time again. I know every meal I've had has been absolutely delicious. In some cases, they do have some upgrade options if you want, but on any other cruise ship, you'd pay 50 to $100 a head to dine in a restaurant like this, but there is no other restaurant like this. Like I said, it was incredibly difficult, incredibly expensive to build the separate galleys, but by doing that, they were able to allow and basically create the premier dining experience in the industry. Now the gym area here on board is divided into two parts. Now here in this part, you're gonna find a lot of the different styles of weightlifting and circuit equipment. So you can work your upper body, your lower body. Of course, they have the padding over there where you can get the mats and do yoga. You can do different styles of stretching. They've got free weights on the far side as well. But the idea behind it really is that you can work all the way through this to work every single part of your body. Now, of course, 
that's gonna be complemented with different styles of fitness classes. They have an area for that. And then they also have a huge aerobic studio. Let's head over there. So now we're in the room that's dedicated to spin. So it's set up like you'd find at any gym out there. And I love the idea that you have a little bit of that competition and it allows you to kind of pick up speed and really get going. Now to me, looking out at the incredible ocean views does that as well. So you have the instructor up on the top there and then all around here, you'll have all the different bikes. So there's several different areas to get that wonderful aerobic and cardio workout. Let's check out the rest now. All right, now there's a ton of different cardio equipment. You've got the rowing machines. You've got several different types of treadmills, which I I love are all looking out at those incredible ocean views. And then you're also gonna have different styles of stair steppers, you've got bikes, and then you also have the elliptical machines. Now these are facing inward at the pool area, so you're gonna have a view either way. I love that they have all the sessions built in as well, so you can follow along, once again, do an incredible workout like you may be at home, or you can head on out and enjoy the ship and walk by here like I do often. So now we're getting ready to head into the spa, and I highly recommend that you stop by on the very first day take a tour yourself and book any of those things that you don't wanna miss out on. Gets especially popular on sea days as you would expect, but they do have some great promotions, putting together packages or looking at the port days as well. Now you'll see behind me, they have quite a bit of retail. You'll find that throughout every cruise ship because you get those duty-free prices. But I love how much space, time, and energy they've dedicated to the spa. Health and wellness is such a big part of the Virgin experience. They've done a great job here. Now, if you're looking for a manicure or pedicure, you can head to the tune-up area. You've got some incredible views, and of course, you can pamper yourself, just like in the spa, and of course, the hair salon down lower. Once again, pedicures and manicures up here. You wanna enjoy the view while you get that done. Now, this beautiful area is the thermal suite. It does come at an additional cost. You can buy a day pass, a little less on port days than on sea days, or for the full week. It is absolutely expansive and beautiful. Now you'll see here in the middle, they've got a hydrotherapy pool. They have different styles of plunge pools as well. You've got cold all the way up to hot. And so you can kind of work your way through a circuit of sorts. You've got a seating area on the far side there as well. You've got a large shower area with rainfall shower head. And then the first stop over here is the sauna. Now you'll notice that quite a bit of it is really big. You're gonna find a ton of space down here. Spa, fitness, all of that is such a big part of the Virgin experience. They've really dedicated a lot of space time and money to this area. Now, as we continue along, you're gonna find the hot stones. Now, all along the window area, you've got different beds where you can lay, relax, enjoy the heat coming up through the stones themselves. You've got a few more areas over here as well. But once again, you've got those beautiful views and of course, a place to relax. Now, as we continue along, the next stop is the mud room. So you'll head in here, get your body acclimated to it. It's a little on the warm side there. You'll find that they have the beautiful tile benches wrapped all the way around. And then you'll have mud that you can put on your skin. So that's a way to exfoliate, of course, add nutrients as well. Now, once again, I mentioned it's kind of a circuit type. You're also gonna have a steam room. So that's gonna be the area where you can go in, kind of sweat it out, open up your pores, and then you can mix and match your experience. Several more showers here. And then finally, you're gonna find the salt room. So this is where you have Himalayan pink salts all around. Once again, a little bit of heat, and you put all of this together, you get a phenomenal cycle through the spa where you're gonna rejuvenate your body, your mind, and your soul. Now you're gonna find all of the different treatments that you love offered here on board the Valiant Lady. So of course you can get the classic massages, whether you want the deep tissue, my personal favorite, the hot stone, bamboo, lots of different options to help rejuvenate you. And then you're also gonna find that you have facials, they have acupuncture, cupping, just about every style of spa experience that can help rejuvenate you. Now I've really enjoyed my massages here on board and I think it might be time for another one. On the port side, you're gonna find the scene. Now this is really a private area. They'll use it for different kinds of functions. Every once in a while, maybe even overflow for sweet guests. But this is another one of those areas you can utilize if you have a large group on board, you're looking to do some training. So now we're in the Red Room and Virgin does entertainment different than anybody else in the entire industry. All their shows have been made for them. And like I said, they're pretty different. They're really energetic. You're gonna find a lot going on. And one of the things that I really appreciate is it's a bit of a theater in the round style. So you may not be able to see it here, but all of those are kind of like bleachers that pull out and you have the individual seats. The other side will have the same thing as well. So when they do a show, you're gonna have an audience on either side looking down here. Now you're gonna find, as I mentioned, really high energy. And then I love that they even bring you in to be part of the show. 
Now they use this space throughout the day and into the evening for all styles of different entertainment. So you've got the stage set up there. You also have the stage here and you can see there's lots of different pieces of the puzzle. We got the big screens all the way around. One of the things that you'll find on Virgin is that you should never be bored. They have something different happening every day throughout the day, lots of great live music and really unique and different entertainment as well. That's sure to get your mind racing, trying to figure out sometimes what the heck's going on. But to be honest with you, I really enjoyed it because it is truly something different and exciting. Now, those of you who love champagne definitely need to stop by the Sip Champagne Bar and Lounge. It's a really nice large lounge, lots of great seating areas, and you might even find one or two of these as well. They're gonna pour you some excellent delicacies. Of course, you've got a full bar. You even have coffee there as well, so you wanna check that out. Maybe you wanna skip one of the coffee shops you can stop by here in the morning as well. But once again, it's all about champagne. I'm gonna go take that now. Now, Virgin knows you're gonna have such a great time on board your cruise that you're gonna to wanna to book your next one while you're here. In fact, you definitely wanna take advantage of some promotions that simply don't exist on land, and they're almost always combinable. So you can book an open cruise, let us know when you get back, we'll help you pick the perfect option for you. Or of course, you can pick the exact cruise that you want. Once again, let us know when you get back, we can take it over from there and make sure that you have the most incredible experience. So now I'm in the vinyl record store and the DJ booth, and I'm gonna be mixing it up a little bit later here. I love the concept that Virgin Embrace Traces its heritage as really a music store to start. You've got all kinds of vinyl options to choose from. And of course, they'll turn the entire roundabout into a party each and every single evening. Now, if you're looking for a delicious brew here on board, you definitely want to check out the Draft House. They've got the most beers on tap. They also have a wide variety to choose from, including some from our favorite Winwood Brewing Company. They make some special ones just for Virgin, but lots of diverse options. You can take it outside and enjoy a drink out there as well. Now, if you're a lover of ice cream like I am, you definitely have to stop by Lick Me Till Ice Cream. Another one of their cheeky little takes, but what you're gonna find is that it's absolutely delicious. They have a variety of ice cream and gelatos. Once again, complimentary or included, if you will. Absolutely delicious, and it does get pretty busy because, well, there's some amazing options there. Now, if you're a lover of delicious coffee, you definitely wanna go by the Grounds Club. So you can start your day here or maybe end your day here. They have a variety of delicious pastry options that you can choose from. They also have all your favorite different coffee style drinks. Now this does come at an additional cost. All the drip coffee is complimentary, but if you wanna upgrade your coffee experience, they even have a great bar seated over there where you can have plugs. It's really a true coffee shop here on board. Now, if you love a delicious pie, now that's a pizza pie here, you definitely wanna come by the pizza place. This is open late into the evening. It's a huge hit and all of them are made to order. So you can pick exactly what you want. They'll have a pizza of the day. They have all your classic favorites. They've got just about everything that you can imagine in here. Once again, the real pizza ovens back there. They're making the delicious dough right in front of you. And then they're gonna make your pizza, put it up on the counter. You can even take the box to head back to your room, outside and dine or anywhere on the ship. Now, of course, you can bring your pizza outside as well. You've got a great seating area to enjoy, take advantage of these beautiful views. And then you have a more expanded seating area here as well, kind of loops in with the Lick Me Till Ice Cream area. So ice cream, pizza, back and forth, and just a beautiful place to sit. Next up is the Social Club. So you've got that 1950s style bar set up over there. Absolutely delicious, complimentary hot dogs, soft pretzels, popcorn, all of your favorite eats. Now they've got booth style seating here. It extends to the far side. They've got fun game of shuffleboard, air hockey, and foosball as well. It's kind of like that social gathering area that you may have in the basement of your house or maybe up in the attic. I absolutely love that. Now I wanted to head into the Loose Cannon Bar. I think this is the most beautiful space here on the entire ship. I absolutely love it. You got the Kraken over there. You've got all the different cannons, the boat memorabilia. And then of course that beautiful bar at the far side with delicious drinks being poured by the bartender. Now you've got this, they're gonna do different kinds of trivia in here. It's a lot of fun. If you know, you know. This is my jam. Well, it's NBA Jam. It's part of the vintage arcade here. All of this is complimentary and there's not even any kids to compete with. It's got some of my all time favorites, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Spent a lot of time, the flipper flapper back in the day playing that game. You've got all kinds of favorites, the Golden Tees over there, Mario. You've got Street Fighter, Alucas, and then Defender, Golden Axe, and then of course some favorite racing games. All complimentary, all included, and all a ton of fun. Vintage fun, that is. Now, as you head further aft, you're gonna find the Dock House. So you've got a full bar here with, of course, entertaining bartenders. You're also gonna have a seating that goes all the way across. You're gonna find that you have delicious Mediterranean-style meze food. So you've got lots of light bites, drinks. You wanna mix some of that food in while you're doing that. But you're sure to have an absolute blast before or after dinner. 
As we continue to head aft, you're gonna find the juice shop here. This ties in where you can take it out to the aft of the ship. Some incredible views and of course, deliciousness. Now I did wanna point out, they also have those quick bites here. You can grab a salad, you can grab a different sandwich, a wrap. They have these all around the ship. So you always have something quick at hand and absolutely delicious as well. Now at the very aft of the ship, you have one of my favorite spots on any cruise ship in the world and that's the Dock House Bar and Grill. It's an enormous amount of outdoor space, diverse seating, you've got small tables and chairs, you also have big loungers, day beds, and then you have some seating in the shade as well. Now you're gonna have some great food out here, whether you're looking at the goat cheese polenta or the grilled shrimp, the octopus, you have delicious chicken options as well, but there's a full bar just in the middle. It's a social area and it extends to go all the way around the sides where you find a lot more seating, some great comfortable seating options as well. So if you wanna drink, you wanna just relax, this is a perfect spot in the morning as well. It's a great spot to go hang out and even catch that sunset view. Now, as the ship sails away, you're gonna see the wake in the distance, but you're also gonna see the wake restaurant. Now it's a steakhouse at its heart. You can get that amazing upgraded tomahawk. So there are a few upgrades you can do here and there, but once again, another delicious included option. They've got beautiful and wonderful entrees. Of course, you can get your filet mignon, you can get your rack of lamb, absolute deliciousness, but they also have quite a few different appetizers and delicious soups and salads. So it's an elegant meal that you can dine, but also this opens up for brunch every single day. Usually goes from about eight o'clock to one o'clock. Another complimentary feature, absolutely delicious brunch style options. And don't forget to add in that mimosa and maybe the Bloody Mary as well. Now, if you love to game on vacation, you've got a full casino here on board the Valiant Lady. You've got roulette, three card poker, blackjack, craps, of course, Texas Hold'em. I do wish it was hand dealt, but love that they have Texas Hold'em here on board as well, along with all of your favorite slot machines and different multi-use games. Once again, make sure you always game responsibly, but if you enjoy it on vacation, make sure and stop by the casino, give them a donation, or who knows, maybe you'll win the next money for your next cruise. Now there's no entrance in the cruise industry quite like that going into the manor. You can see the beautiful mirrors and lights all heading into the nightclub area. So as we head down the hallway, we're gonna step into the nightclub, but it's more than that. They use it throughout the day for different things as well. You might find an 80s exercise class, maybe some innuendo bingo, just a lot of fun. But when you step in, you know exactly what it is. It's that classic old school club feel. So you've got a bar here. There's also a bar upstairs as well. And then it wraps all the way around on the far side. Now, as we step into the manor proper, you're gonna see right in the middle, you have a stage. Now they'll put on some incredible shows in here, some great music. Like I mentioned earlier, they also use this throughout the day for all kinds of different parties, also different exercise type things. You wouldn't think that they do that, but right there, it's so much fun. I can't even explain. I think you gotta try it for yourself. But once again, this beautiful space turns into a nightclub in the evening. You've got all the TVs wrapped all the way around. Lots of great intimate seating down low and up above for a virgin style experience you would expect. Now, if you really want the ultimate cruise memory, you definitely want to stop by Squid Ink and get a tattoo. Now, these are permanent tattoos. They're real. Make sure you thought a little bit about it before you go, but the artists are absolutely incredible. We know a lot of our guests have really enjoyed having that on board. A novelty really on a cruise ship. Now, as we continue along, you're gonna have retail. Now, there's a ton of retail down here. This happens to be the sunglasses shop, if you will, so eyes and shine. Continuing along, you're gonna find a full service salon where you can get your hair done, maybe a revolutionary new hairdo, or just heading out to go and have an amazing night here on board. Maybe you wanna get that set up for Scarlet Night. Now, the dry dock is a, it's a dry bar, essentially, where you can get your hair blow dried, you can make it absolutely stunning to head on out and have a great time. Now I mentioned retail, there is enormous amount of retail. You've got all your favorite beauty supplies, you've got high-end jewelry, watches, and then of course, all your different favorite designer style clothing options. Now, if you do have an onboard credit, you can use that here as well as throughout the ship. And the reason people shop on board a cruise ship like this is truly the duty-free nature of it. A lot of what you pay for alcohol, tobacco, different styles of clothing comes in taxes. And because you're in the international waters, you don't have to pay them. So you might find that it's a great bargain for you. Now, Virgin has been synonymous with great music for an enormous amount of time, and this is one of those venues. You'll find a lot of small, intimate venues where they have incredible live music. In fact, the jazz band we saw last time was one of the best I've ever seen, totally engaging, having a great time, and they'll mix it up throughout your cruise. You've got lots of lounge-style seating here. It's kind of an overflow from the roundabout, so you'll see that you have the booth-style seating, small tables and chairs for two or four, and then, of course, the full bar that is sure to be pouring some incredible beverages. Now another delicious dining option here on board is the test kitchen. 
It's meant to be very, very different than any other thing that you'll see at sea. So there's a lot of different styles of seating. You got these high bar top style seating, large tables, you've got booth style seating, tables for two and four as well. Now the idea behind this is to have something completely unique. So you're gonna find different molecular gastronomy in here. Things may smoke a little bit. They may look like one thing, taste like something else. But what I've found is it's delicious time and time again. Now, like all the spaces on board, this is more than just a restaurant in the evening. Throughout the day, they'll use it for cocktail making classes. They even have a photo class that teaches you how to take a great picture of the cocktail that you made. So if you want those great Instagram shots, make sure you check that out as well. So a really large restaurant, it's the largest here on board. It's very popular and absolutely delicious. Next up is Razzle Dazzle. Now at its heart, this is a vegan and vegetarian restaurant, but don't worry, those of you who love some meat products, they also have a naughty list that you can dine from. Once again, another delicious option here. It's a really large restaurant. They've got the full bar set up as well. It's actually a great social place to stop by and just have a drink at the bar. You can have a coffee there as well. But you have the high top style seating where you're gonna find a lot of open familial style seating along with tables for two and four. This is considered by many to be the best vegan restaurant at sea. Once again, if you wanna try something new or you wanna mix it up and maybe one member of the family is vegan, one would like some meat options, you can find that here as well. Now, another delicious dining option here on board is pink agave. If you love Mexican food, this takes it to a whole nother level. You're gonna find some great regional cuisines in here and also just elevated experiences from start to finish. Now, all the restaurant menus on board have been designed by Michelin star chefs. They really pay close attention, not just to the plating, but the quality of the ingredients and delivering time and time again, absolutely delicious food. You'll find in here, like all the other restaurants, you do have a full bar setup. They'll provide bar service throughout. You've got high top tables for up to 10 to 12. You also have booth style seating like this, tables for two, four, whatever you're looking for. You're sure to find it here if you love delicious Mexican cuisine. Just forward of Pink Agave, you'll find Sailor Services. Now it's always busy on the first day and the very last day, so we recommend you stop by throughout the cruise. But anything to do with money, your room, if you have any questions really, they're here to help you every step of the way. So I'm sure you can see why we love this ship so much and the entire Virgin experience. Delicious food, incredible music, great entertainment, and of course, the friendliest crew at sea. Now, when you're ready to book your next Virgin voyage, we know that we can help craft the cruise adventure of a lifetime at Far Travel. Make sure you reach out. We'll make sure you, your friends, family, or group have an incredible vacation experience, and we love that we get to be a part of it. So ahoy and have a wonderful sail. Nope. Nope.